Hi there, and welcome back to this course on machine learning in geographic information systems. The topic of today's lecture is on applications and types of use of artificial intelligence and machine learning in GIS. In general, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are helping us to make a better world by helping increase, for example, crop yields through precision agriculture, to fight in crime by deploying predictive policy models, and to predicting when the next big storm will hit and being better equipped to handle it. So, let's get started. During this lecture, I'm going to explain you the application of machine learning in GIS and remote sensing. I'm going to talk briefly about types of machine learning applications in GIS, as well as I will provide you with some examples on both. Let's move on. In general, the main ultimate goal of applying machine learning in GES is that machine eventually should figure out the factors or features without expert assistance just by analyzing and processing the data. In such a way, petabytes of imagery may be processed repeatable and quickly in the cloud using machine learning techniques. That's where deep learning comes in. It's inspired by and loosely resembles the human brain. In a deep neural network, there are numerous um, the, there are neurons that respond to stimulus and they are connected with each other in layers. Neural networks have been around for decades, but it has been a challenge to train them. With a powerful um, with the power of, uh, of our computers nowadays, it becomes very important and uh, increasingly uh, applied to use artificial neural networks for these tasks. At the same time, on this slide, you can see an example of application of machine learning in GIS, well, namely here in remote sensing. In, in this example, uh, there is an impervious surface map, a surface map on the right, that was uh, derived from very high resolution imager, images on the left using uh, machine learning techniques. In this uh, specific case, the uh, random forest classification was applied. Here is another example of using machine uh, learning algorithms in JS. This is a flood map on the right over Houston that was derived from again very high resolution image on the left using machine learning techniques. This is just give you some examples and give you a feeling of the capabilities what could be done with uh, machine learning in JS. The intersection of artificial intelligence uh, and GIS is creating massive opportunities that weren't possible before, and machine learning has been always a core component of special analysis in GIS. Machine to learning tools and algorithms have been applied to geoprocessing tools to solve problems in three broad categories, if you wish. Classification is the first category. With classification, you can use, for example, support vector machine algorithms or decision trees or random forest or neural networks to, or any other algorithm to create land cover classification layers. Another example is clustering that lets you process large quantities of input point data, identify the meaningful clusters within them and separate them from the sparse noise. Prediction algorithms. Those are algorithms such as, for example, geographically weighted regression that allows you to use geography to calibrate the factors that will help you to predict future patterns or extra extrapolate to unknown areas. For example, we can use geographically weighted regression or logistic regression modeling or random forest modeling to uh, predict the uh, pattern of informal settlements development in uh, slums in Mumbai. These methods work well in several areas and their results are interpretable, but they need experts to identify or feed in those factors or features that affect the outcome that we are trying to predict. One area of uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, has got, uh, that has done exceedingly well is computer vision. 
or the ability for computers to see. And the examples of those computer vision uh, tasks you can see on this slide. This is particularly useful for GIS as uh, satellite, aerial and drone imagery is being produced at a rate that makes it impossible to analyze and derive insight from uh, sort of traditional means. The figure on this slide shows some of the most important computer vision tasks uh, or use cases and how they can be applied to GIS. So the examples include uh, image classification, object detection, segmentation, and finally prediction, which is not shown on this slide. On this slide, you can see more examples of applications of machine learning and uh, deep learning in GIS-assisted analysis. Namely, we can use machine learning in GIS to solve the following tasks. We can use it for land surface classification, for land use classification, and monitoring the changes. We can use it for mapping in previous surface, for change detection tasks, for geospatial attribute trending, for extraction, for example, road networks, cars, for object identifications, ships, swimming pools, pedestrians, and so on, for 3D modeling, and more. There are numerous uh, applications, and more applications are being created almost every day. So what's changed now in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning that made machine learning so successful in the field of special analysis? Well, there are several reasons for this. The advent of machine learning and deep learning can be attributed to three primary developments in recent years, data, computers, and algorithmic improvements. Data. We now have vast quantities of data thanks to the Internet, the sensors all around us and the numerous satellites and airborne imagery that are imaging the whole world every day. Computers, computer power. We have powerful computers nowadays th thanks to cloud computing and GPUs that have become more powerful than ever and gone down in price thanks to the gaming industry and economic development. And finally, algorithm improvements. Finally, researchers have now cracked some of the most challenging aspects of training the deep neural networks through algorithmic improvements and network architectures. Lately, GES is applying artificial intelligence into areas such as classification, prediction, and segmentation. On this, I would like to finish my lecture on machine learning and use of artificial intelligence in GIS. In the upcoming lecture, I will give you more examples about each type of machine learning algorithms that is used for GIS and remote sensing applications starting with the classification. With the lecture 5, we will conclude the theoretical block of this um, course, and then we will start and open up the practical and hands-on exercise will, which will train you with the practical skills how to apply machine learning algorithms in the field of GIS and remote sensing. Thank you for watching me.